A stately pair of Clydesdales are among some of the greeters at Wood Camp Farm in Howard County. That is, they're just for show. The six horses are primarily yard ornaments, as we call them. But that's not all Farmer Dale Huff raises on his 64-acre family farm in Mount Airy. And technically, the cattle and pigs are for show, too, but in a different way. I think last year we had pigs shown in 10 counties in Maryland, two other states. 67 4-H kids and about 140 pigs were purchased from us and shown at fairs and shows. We also raised steers to sell, and we had about a half a dozen steers purchased and shown at local fairs and shows. Anything that's left gets sold to commercial feedlots where they're fed out for beef. Every year, dozens of 4-H kids come to Dale looking to buy piglets and calves, animals they'll raise and show at state and county fairs during summer. Come New Year, it's time for Dale to roll up his sleeves. Between the 1st of January and 1st of April, we will have about 42, 43 litters of baby pigs. When the babies are born, then the pig count goes up to something around 350 babies by the time we're done. Keeping the newborns warm can be a challenge, especially on bone-chilling days like this one. The temperatures in December and January have been pretty brutal. As everyone in Maryland knows, we've been down to zero any number of times. And it's a struggle keeping things warm and keeping the animals comfortable. And unlike cows and horses, pigs don't have thick skin and fur. Dale starts to winterize the farrowing barns in October, well before the piglets begin to arrive. These rooms need to be kept at 70 degrees. There are six inches of insulation on, the, on top of the metal on the ceiling. The nooks and crannies have insulation stuffed in them. There's three and a half, four inches of insulation in the wall, and it is airtight. The wind can be blowing 35 miles an hour outside, but there's no draft coming in here. And heat lamps provide additional warmth. The room is 70 degrees. Under the lamps, it's about 90 degrees, and that's a healthy temperature for the baby pigs. But it's a combination of animal heat, supplemental heat, heat lamps, insulation, all working together to keep the rooms warm. There's a thermometer in every barn. On days when Mother Nature plays games, and it doesn't quite feel like winter in January, Dale can make some minor adjustments to cool the room down. We start unplugging heat lamps. We start leaving the front door open. We certainly don't use any supplemental heat. And this time of year, even if it goes to 50, 55, if we take those actions, we can keep the temperature under control because it still has to be 70 on the inside and 90 for the baby pigs. These two-week-old piglets won't be here for long. In about six weeks, they'll move into another pen, making space for the next litter. As we move sows into the farrowing areas and the farrowing pens, these pens start emptying out and we have to get ready for uh, the baby pigs, and we use the first two, three, four of these pens as nursery pens for the baby pigs. But before the piglets start to play musical chairs, this nursery needs some work, and Dale needs some more supplies. He's a regular customer at the local farm supply store, Farm and Home Service in Sykesville. He'll buy a lot of feed, and then he'll also buy some bedding, shavings, and that type of stuff to help use in the barn. And then he does buy a lot of heat lamps and bulbs. And I buy them by the case, <laughs> because one or two bulbs just don't last long. Back at the farm, Dale's grandson Colby is home from school and tending to the piglets. I come outside every day after school, and I feed and water them, and normally clean their pens if they get dirty. Today's task is helping Grandpa set up the nursery. Colby spread some wood shavings, a warm bedding for the piglets. But they still have some time before they make their way to the show ring. For now, let the kids be kids. 